This is Detective Recapped. Today I'm going to explain a romance comedy film called I Love You, Beth Cooper. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. During their graduation at Buffalo Glen High School, valedictorian Dennis Cooverman remembers his conversation with his Germanic classics quoting best friend, Rich, about Beth Cooper. Beth is Dennis's longtime crush, and Rich is sure that she'll forget Dennis as soon as they graduate. Not just forget, she'll live her life as if little Dennis never existed. Assuming they'll live that long, they'll meet during the 10th reunion. Then, Rich urges Dennis to give a big speech during graduation because without it, he'll cease to exist, and Dennis will regret it for the rest of his life. Or so Rich promises. So when Dennis finally gives his speech, he nervously admits in front of everyone that he loves Beth Cooper and has always admired her from afar. But he doesn't stop there. Oh no. Dennis addresses his different schoolmates. He calls out Victoria for her eating disorder, a rich girl, Valley, for being cruel, Greg for being a bully who was probably unloved as a child, Beth's boyfriend, Kevin, for hanging around their school even though he's already graduated since he can't get an adult girlfriend, and Rich for hiding his homosexuality. Dennis has a lot more to say, but his teacher, Dr. Gleason, cuts him off after making everyone feel uncomfortable. After the program, Dennis gets nasty looks from the people he's humiliated. Dr. Gleason talks to Dennis about his little stunt, so he tells her he had to do something so Beth would remember him before asking the doctor if she hasn't been in love before. Suddenly, Dr. Gleason pictures the time she used to fool around and tells Dennis there's another Beth Cooper out there for him. Beth then talks to Dennis and says he embarrassed her, but she's willing to let it slide because he was sweet. She also removes her graduation gown in the middle of the conversation, and when Rich arrives, he asserts that he's not gay. Beth decides to leave after feeling uneasy, so Dennis invites her to a party at his house later. Kevin then arrives and roughs up Dennis for humiliating him and insulting Beth, but Dr. Gleason returns before Kevin can hurt Dennis even more. On their way home, Rich continues to argue with Dennis about his homosexuality. Now, there was a time when Rich suggested they use their schlongs as swords while imitating Robin Hood and Friar Chuck. But Dennis doesn't mention this. Instead, he tells Rich that everyone thinks he's gay. But either way, Dennis likes him for who he is and he just wants him to be true to himself. They also talk about their graduation gifts and after seeing that Dennis has received an iPod, Rich tells him what his father got him, a bill. His dad said he owes him 200 grand. Saddened, Dennis tells Rich he's sorry that he's got a mean dad. As Dennis and Rich prepare for the party, Mr. and Mrs. Cooverman arrive and ask them to be responsible, mainly because people are coming over. Dennis' father also gives them a bottle of champagne, while his mother reminds them not to let any designated driver drink. When Mrs. Cooverman leaves, Mr. Cooverman encourages Dennis to do what his teenage heart wants, even informing him and Rich that he has several packs of protection in his bedside table. Once Dennis's parents are gone, Beth and her friends, Cammy, and Treese arrive and say Kevin won't be joining them. Once inside, things get awkward between the teenagers when Beth brings up her dead brother. She then walks out of the room to talk to Kevin while the rest discuss what they should drink besides champagne. Rich goes upstairs to get Mr. Kuverman's rubber, while Dennis cuts himself from opening the bottle of champagne. The girls just ignore Dennis, but when he sits his face with a cork, Beth is quick to help him. She asks Rich to give her something cold for his injury, and the only thing available in the refrigerator is a frozen waffle. Beth goes on top of Dennis and presses the waffle on his face, and when he says he already feels better, Beth looks down and realizes why. Bored, the girls decide to go no matter how much Dennis protests, but Kevin and his army friends arrive before they can leave. Dennis tries and fails to keep Kevin and his buddies out of his home and when they get inside, they start destroying everything. Kevin chases Dennis and Rich around the house, and in Dennis's room, he sees a poster of his girlfriend on the ceiling. Dennis then defends himself with a toy lightsaber while Kevin attacks him using the skeleton arms in the room. Rich just hides in the closet, of course. As the two boys fight, and when he comes out, he jumps out of the window. 
Just when Kevin is about to hit Dennis again, Beth suddenly shows up and knocks out her boyfriend with a skull. Beth tells Dennis to leave, and as he does, Beth notices her poster on the ceiling, which she finds weird. Rich falls on the ground while holding on to a water pipe, while Kevin pushes Dennis off the roof. The two friends crawl on the lawn as they try to escape Kevin's wrath, but Kevin and his boys are determined to nail them. The army soldiers chase them while they're training for war, but Beth suddenly arrives. She accidentally hits Dennis with her car before saving him. Rich gets in the car just in time too, and Beth drives away while yelling at Kevin to call her once he's sober. As Beth drives, Dennis asks her to slow down, but Cammy tells him she always drives like that. Rich also remembers how recklessly Beth took her driving exam while Dennis thanks Beth for rescuing him. However, Beth says she's only trying to keep Kevin away from jail and a court martial. Dennis then uses Beth's phone to call his parents to talk about their house, but they're not answering. Beth also throws away her phone since Kevin is tracking it, which her friends cheer her for. With nothing else to do, Dennis plays a song on the radio, and everyone sings along to the music. The five of them go to a convenience store to buy some beer. Dennis once again says sorry to Beth, but Beth doesn't really mind and even offers to buy some band-aids for his scratches. As they talk, Dennis sees that Beth's eyes aren't blue, but actually green with a bit of hazel. Dennis and Beth choose their beer and chips, but the cashier refuses to sell them liquor after seeing Beth's ID, which says that she's 37. Determined to get her beer, Beth offers to give the cashier a nice hard kiss, leaving both him and Dennis stunned. After the ordeal, Beth enthusiastically returns to her friends with the drinks, and Dennis awkwardly comments that what Beth did was weird. When Beth's friends discover that she sucked the cashier's face for two seconds, they applaud her for her sacrifice, while Rich mutters that he'd do two seconds. Of course, he quickly follows it up by saying that it's not gay since he's following the three-second rule, which they remind him only applies to food. But Dennis suddenly speaks out more to himself and he murmurs she's not Beth Cooper. The teenagers go to the woods where they build a bonfire and drink. There, Beth opens her beer using her teeth. But when Dennis does the same, he breaks his tooth and cuffs it up on Beth. With Cammy, Treese, and Rich leaving to pee, Beth and Dennis talk about their plans after graduation. While Dennis is proud to say that he'll take a medical course at Stanford, Beth isn't sure if she can afford college. Then Beth mentions what she did back at the convenience store, disappointed over Dennis's remark about her, so Dennis says she's better than the girl who kissed the cashier. Meanwhile, Rich, Cammy, and Treese get chased by a herd of cows after disturbing them, and Rich even gets bitten on the neck. Once they reach the car, Beth orders Rich to leave his shoes after stepping on cow droppings, and Rich reluctantly does as he's told. Beth then recklessly drives without lights while everyone screams their lungs out. And after Dennis begs her to turn the headlights back on, they hit another car. As it turns out, the kids hit the vehicle of Dennis's parents, who are making love in the woods. Dennis is about to get out of Beth's car, but Beth advises him not to talk to his father while his pants are down before driving away. The five of them go to Valley's grand party, where Dennis expresses his concern since he's embarrassed her during his speech. However, Rich and the girls aren't really concerned, and they join the rest of the students anyway. Once inside, Dennis feels sad when Beth talks to some guys, so he excuses himself to go to the bathroom. Unfortunately, Greg finds and takes him to a room where the big guy wonders how Dennis knew about his problem. Greg hugs and tells Dennis that he sometimes doesn't even remember attacking people, so Dennis advises him to get professional help. Thankful, Greg promises Dennis that he will and that he'll call him about it before asking for another hug. Afterwards, Dennis talks to Rich about Beth and the consequences of his confession. Then Victoria and her friend Patty show up, praising Dennis for his wonderful speech. Patty then wonders what's happened to Dennis's face, and when he and Rich start talking about how Dennis put Kevin in a hospital, Victoria reveals that Mr. Army Man is just upstairs. Of course, Rich has no choice but to tell them it's time for him to meet his female fiancé and leave. However, Valley spots them before they get a chance to leave, and Beth sees that the guy she's kissing is Kevin. Kevin and his friends rough up Dennis and Rich, with Beth failing to stop them. The army guys then take Dennis and Rich to the living room while Beth decides to leave. 
With Kevin getting ready to sock the daylights out of Dennis, he tries to ask the crowd if they'll just let Kevin murder him. Then their PE teacher interrupts their fight just to set the typical ground rules of no biting and what have you, which Kevin's pleased by. However, Dennis insists that he surrenders since Kevin already has the girl, and he already humiliated him in front of everyone, but Kevin still punches him. Patty then comes to his aid, telling him he can take Kevin down even when he can't get up. Suddenly, Greg shows up in defense of his new buddy, and he single-handedly beats up Kevin and his cronies, including their gym teacher. Kevin manages to get up and give Greg a 1-2 with some roundhouse kicks before shifting his attention back to Dennis. Just when Kevin is about to hit Dennis, Beth crashes her now ex-boyfriend's Hummer through the house to save her friends. It's now Greg's turn to beat Kevin up, and as Dennis and co leaves, he scolds Beth for breaking several laws. But Beth is in no mood to listen to him, so she just recklessly drives again until they reach their school. Beth and the others enter the school using her head cheerleader ID, and they go to the gym. There, Rich joins the girl in performing a dance routine. Beth suddenly gets emotional after dancing, but she doesn't say a word about it and just hits the shower with her friends. Rich then urges Dennis to join the girls, but Dennis tells him he doesn't have to prove anything. Unmoved, Rich simply ignores Dennis and goes to the shower room, and Dennis eventually follows him. There, Beth teases Dennis by removing her towel in front of him, and because he's reluctant to join them, Rich reminds him that they have to seize the day. Rich then removes his clothes to finally take a shower, and as Dennis undresses too, Kevin and his buddies arrive. Kevin immediately punches Dennis and tries to destroy him, but Rich shows up and towel whips the army guys with military precision. He lets Dennis and the girls escape, saying he can handle Kevin and his friends by himself since he's been preparing all his life for that moment. Rich has been practicing his towel whipping skills since he was a kid, so he easily beats up the three guys and joins Dennis and the girls. The teenagers then take Beth's car, which was brought back by Kevin and argue about where they should go. Treese suggests they go to her father's cabin, but Dennis wants to go home. Beth then tells him that he's the one who started the mess after delivering his speech at school and confessing his love for someone he barely knows. But Rich says Dennis knows a lot of things about her. Irritated, Dennis reminds Beth that she said he was sweet and even came to his house. But Cammy reveals that they only did that because they thought it would be funny. Treese then gives Dennis some tampons for his bleeding nose, and as they pass by the woods, Beth tells him that guys confess their love for her all the time because they usually want something from her. But despite Beth's sentiment, Dennis still manages to make her laugh. Since Dennis's shirt stinks, she asks him to take it off so she can air it out, but Beth accidentally drops it while driving. Beth backs up so Dennis can retrieve it, but when Dennis gets out of the car and realizes he's only wearing his underwear, Beth lends him her poncho. Together, they look for Dennis's shirt, and when Dennis asks her why she goes out with Kevin, Beth admits that she likes the way other girls looked at her when she was with him. She's also made excuses for Kevin's attitude because she felt nice being wanted. But Dennis believes that there are many nice guys who'd love to be with her. Unconvinced, Beth asks Dennis why he did the speech, and Dennis says he realized that it was his last chance to talk to her. In a tender but short-lived moment between the two, Beth says she's glad for Dennis's confession and when they find the shirt, they suddenly get chased by a raccoon. The teenagers drink at Teresa's father's cabin, and they toast to the world's greatest night. Dennis then decides to join Beth in watching the sunrise and asks about her brother, so Beth describes him to Dennis the best way she can. She was only two years old when her brother died, so she remembers only little about him. However, Dennis believes her presence meant a lot to her brother, and Beth thanks him for saying that. Beth then asks him if he still loves her, and Dennis admits that she's different from what he imagined. Dennis and Beth talk about their high school memories, with Beth believing that her life will be completely ordinary from then on. But Dennis tells her that that's ridiculous, for the Beth Cooper he knows is the most alive person he's ever met. With that, Beth and Dennis share a kiss. While inside the cabin, Rich sleeps with Treese and Cammy. They then drop Dennis home later that morning, and while Mr. Cooverman is happy that his son had fun, he tells him that he needs to be punished for what happened to their house. Once Dennis's father goes inside, Beth and Dennis wish each other good luck, 
and Dennis kisses Beth on the cheek. However, Beth feels unsatisfied with that and kisses Dennis on the lips before thanking him for loving her. Then Dennis tells Beth he'll see her at the reunion, promising to marry her if they're both still single. And with that, the two part ways. Rich also bids Trees and Cammie goodbye, and as he goes inside the house with Dennis, he admits that he thinks he's bisexual. He encourages Dennis to take his relationship with Beth to the next level, and Dennis declares he won't wait for the reunion. He'll leave her a message on Facebook and ask her out. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.